target platform has grown tremendously over the past year with more and more shoppers shifting to this platform target played a major role in this with digital sales increase close to 15 billion dollar in last year this is huge right many sellers aren't running sponsored ads as target doesn't have a seller central however target allowed third party tools like Critio and roundel to manage these ads not to mention that running sponsored ad can boost your sales by 3x or more in this video i will show how you can create campaign in the target platform by using a third party tool like roundel so let's move into my screen first of all i need to log in to my target portal from here you can see the manage ads i need to click here after clicking this you will see this interface in the left corner you can see the new campaign button from here i am clicking into the new campaign so from here we have to set everything first of all you can see the campaign type and then second one is the campaign name so we need to set a campaign name here like i am setting a campaign name as i would like to run this campaign from today so i am picking this date range and for the in date i am skipping this one and the next one is the budgeting so in this site you can set two types of budget like the total budget or the monthly budget so if you pick the total budget i will suggest no need to set any monthly budget so i am putting here 50 dollar as total budget and selecting no monthly budget like this section you can see the monthly budget override you can add also the override monthly budget as well like if you select the monthly budget so in this case uh, like after finishing the limit you can add more budget here like you can add another section for the monthly budget and now the daily budget like if you think that you would like to spend fixed amount per day so you can set a fixed budget here and then you can put the amount here now the daily budget if you want to spend fixed amount per day so you should select the fixed here and put the daily amount that you would like to spend so i am putting here 10 dollar per day now there is daily budget override so it's same as the monthly budget override if you think that you need more budget to spend per day so you can add another section here and the next part is attribution setting from the post click setting we can set a look back windows we can select like 7 days 14 days or 30 days date range so i am clicking here and the product match will be same product same category and the same sellers and the next up is post view setting it's also same as post click setting so let me pick from here and for the product match i am selecting the same product now you should click on the next button and in this page you can see we need to set a line item name i am selecting this one as line item name and then i need to schedule a date range so i am not picking any in date here same you need to set a budget like i am selecting the total budget as 50 and not selecting any monthly budget and the fixed one i am picking here like 10 dollar then i am moving into the next page in this section we need to add product that we would like to advertising on here i am uploading items in a bulk way so let me click into the bulk upload i am putting the items that i would like to add into this campaign now let me add products here you can see already added those items after reviewing those items you need to select into the next button here you can see the section is keyword targeting here you can target two way like one is automated keyword targeting and another is automated plus manual keyword targeting for the automated keyword targeting if you select automatic keyword targeting your keyword will be automatic targeted if you select automatic and the manual targeting in this section keyword will be targeted automatically and if you want to add some keyword manually you will also be able to do this so for my one 
I am selecting the first one like automated keyword targeting and here is the section negative keyword targeting like if you want to add some negative at the beginning you will also be able to do this so for now I am not adding anything here just after reviewing everything I am clicking into the next button and here you can choose the line item goal so for my one I am selecting the conversion here and for the line item bidding like if you want to bid for your item so you can pick here that for my one I am selecting 25 cent at the beginning and if you want you can select a max bid here like what will be your maximum bid that you would like to do like let's say you can see in the below section they are suggesting to use at least 30 cent so I am selecting here that 30 cent and if you want to bid on the product level you can also do this like if you want to increase the bidding for a particular item you can edit from here like let me pick the first one and if I want to bid for this item uh, like 50 cent so I can set here you can see here that the product bid is showing 50 cent so this way you can do for the other items now the keyword bidding if you select automated and the manual targeting in this case the keyword you will add manually you can bid on those keyword as I picked automated targeting only so there are no keywords that actually I added manually this is why I don't need to update this part so now I need to move into the next one finally the configure line item here you can review all of the part and after reviewing everything you should select launch and line item hope you have a better idea now how you can create sponsor product campaign for the target ads by using a third party tool like roundel so that's all for today if you need any help you can let us know in the comment section also you can feel free to mail us info at ecomclips.com see you in the next video till then stay safe bye bye